Hey guys, welcome to Red Brick. I'm Tim and this is Jimmy. Hi. Today Craig's come out to visit Red Brick and put together a little bit of a video for you about how to make coffee at home on your home espresso machine. Jimmy is one of our barista trainers. He looks, on, looks after a lot of the coffee within Red Brick and also training the cafes that we work with. He's going to run you through the setup today and give you a few pointers on how to brew a better coffee at home. Yeah. Over to you, Jimmy. Uh, brewing coffee is really easy. All you have to do is grind it, put it in, tamp it, and run the shot. But there are a few little things you can do to make your coffee taste even better and make it really consistent day to day. So we're going to start off with grind today. Tearing our water filter and we're going to be grinding straight into it. Now before we grind, we want to make sure that this inside is as clean as possible so there's no like old coffee sitting around there, no dirt. And the other side is also really clean, so there's no old oils that are going to contribute to quite a negative flavour in your coffee. So if this is all clean and we're all dry, we're ready to grind. So when we're grinding, we want to try and make sure the coffee grinds fall in quite level. So what I like to do is pause it when it gets about halfway, and just take it out, give it a bit of a shake, a bit of a level and put it back in. Sweet. And this should be pretty close to 18. Oh. That's all right. We'll be dosing 18 grams today, which is about as much as I'd normally recommend for a home machine. Now, we want to try and make sure that these coffee grounds are as level as possible again because we want the water to be flowing quite evenly through and that's just going to contribute to a richer flavour and a better tasting espresso. So to do that, it's quite simple. All you have to do is give it a bit of a tap so we get that nice flatter shape. And once we're there, give it another little light tap on the bench so it levels and fills some of those air pockets that might have formed. Now it's time to stamp. So tamping, all we want to do first and foremost is make sure the tamp is sitting quite flat and quite level. This is more important than how hard you tamp. If it's nice and flat, then it doesn't matter how hard you tamp because the water is going to flow nice and evenly. So I'm going to be saying, it doesn't matter how hard you tamp. It does not matter how hard you tamp. You heard it here. <laughs> so I'm just going to tamp quite lightly, just a nice bit of pressure. And that's it. We want to have this rim up the top here nice and clean as well because that's going to help protect our seals in the machine. So when we're extracting our shot, we want it to kind of group together quite quickly. And we want the colours to be quite consistent throughout. So what are we going for again, Jimmy? So we're going for 36 grams here. So two grams of coffee, uh, two grams of water for every one gram of coffee. And you're running the manual setting on the Rebel machine because then we can obviously weigh it and get a little bit more accurate each time. Yeah. Cool. So let's have a nice consistent colour, looks great. Good. Now, onto the fun part. So we want to be using as cold a milk as possible. Uh, that's just going to give us a little bit more time to steam it, which is going to make the milk a bit stronger and it's going to give us a much nicer texture. So just like before we run the shot, we give it a rinse. Same with the steam one, we just want to give it a little bit of a purge. Get rid of any milk that might be sitting in there. And when I'm steaming milk, I like to put the jug kind of straight in along the uh, path of the seam wand and then I just like to rotate it a little bit to give us about a 30 degree sort of angle there because what's most important about spinning milk is we want it to spin so when it starts spinning we just want to introduce a little bit of steam just very lightly and just trying to focus on having that milk spin for the entire duration of the process and if you've got a machine that sort of operates at different levels of steam, try and go as much steam as possible. Um, that's just going to encourage our milk to steam a little bit more. 
And as you can see, I haven't really done very much. I've just slightly lowered the uh, jug to introduce a bit more air and just kept it very still. So we're still encouraging that nice consistent spin. Yeah. Now you're just waiting to know when would you um, finish placing you? So we want to stop steaming when the jug's just a little bit too hot to hold. Um, obviously you can go a little bit longer if you like your milk a bit hotter. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but typically I like to just stop when the jug is too hot to hold. Then we want to try and wipe off any milk that's kind of caked on after the steaming process. Put it down, give it another flush, and we'll be ready to pour some awesome latte out. So there's no real secret with latte art. It's all about practice. But there are a few little tips that are going to help you pour very well, and they are as follows. First of all, hold your cup on quite a dramatic angle. Uh, I guarantee it'll be a bigger angle than you've been holding before. Um, we want to pour very slowly right into the center of the shot. And then we want to start just moving in very small circles, just like that. And then we want to bring the jug as close as possible to the milk. And that's going to help push out that top layer of foam, which is going to give us a really nice little couple of shapes. And then you can lift it up and you can dollop that foam on, and that's going to be creating your shapes and making your beautiful latte out. Hey guys, uh, so I hope you really enjoyed the session with Jimmy. Um, very talented barista, big value to Red Brick. Um, if you've got any questions about the process of brewing coffee at home, feel free to hit Craig up. He has a wealth of knowledge. Um, he spent several hours with us now, pretty much an expert. But otherwise, you're welcome to jump on the Red Brick website. A few of the videos that we've produced today with Craig, we also have similar content on our website. If you're ever looking for some coffee for home, we've got a range of coffee blends as well. But otherwise, just stay safe, enjoy the coffee, Stay strong. Cheers, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you.